Let's take a look at some examples of cycloalkanes. So we're going to start out with the simplest cycloalkane. This is cyclopropane. And this A-N-E on the end, that tells us that we have all single bonds and all carbon and hydrogen atoms. So if we look at the structure here, we have all single bonds. Everything is single bonded. We only have carbon and hydrogen and we have a ring. So we have this ring right here of these three carbons bonded together. You could look at it like this. This is another way you could draw it where we have our carbons here and we don't write the hydrogens by convention. Note that each carbon is bonded to one, two, three, four things. So each carbon has four things bonded to it. If we looked at this in three dimensions, a molecular model of cyclopropane, that would look like this. So you can see there how those carbons are bonded together and we have the hydrogen atoms around it. Let's look at another example of a cycloalkane, cyclobutane. So this is cyclobutane. Again, all carbons, all hydrogens, all single bonds. And we have this ring here. In this case, it's a square. It's cyclobutane. Butane has the four carbons in it. In three dimensions, that would look like this here. So you can kind of see the structure. One thing that's happening though now is we see that it's not a perfect cube. It's a little bit skewed. That's because carbon typically will have a bond angle of 109.5. It's sp3 hybridized. But here it would be 90 degrees. And that causes ring strain, so we don't get a perfect cube. Let's take a look at another cycloalkane. This is cyclopentane. Pentane, pent means five, one, two, three, four, five carbons. We would have all single bonds and then we'd have hydrogens off such that each carbon had four things. So this is cyclopentane. Let's wrap up with one final example, cyclohexane. So we have six carbons and each carbon has four things attached to it. So each carbon here would have the two hydrogens attached and it's bonded to these carbons here. Again, because of the ring strain, this structure won't be this perfect hexagon. It'll be a little bit bent and puckered. It's often represented as looking like this. So this is one of the confirmations of cyclohexane. And that has to do with us not having a 109.5 degree bond angle, which is most stable. So those are some examples of cycloalkanes. Again, we have all single bonds, only carbons and hydrogens, and then we have the ring. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.